What's up guys, today in this tutorial uh, is going to be my first series of tutorials of how to use a Mac. So if you bought a Mac or you are willing to switch from Windows to a Mac but you're not quite sure how you actually like it, uh, these series of tutorials will uh, teach you the overall basis of how to use a Mac and what things mean. So let's uh, start off with the menu bar. This is pretty basic stuff. Uh, you have your Apple logo here, and within the Apple logo, you can find various things like your about this Mac. So you can find out general stuff about it, and then you can find you can go to the App Store for the Mac, software updates, preferences, uh, and then this is where you would uh, sleep, shut down, or restore, or restart your computer, or log off if you have multiple accounts and then on the side here there's little shortcuts that you can do to access uh, these things a little bit quicker so along with the menu bar we have the finder which is corresponding to uh, right here and the finder is like your Windows Explorer essentially uh, you can find Basically, anything that you need, you can find it in the Finder. Uh, so you have your Macintosh hard drive with your folders, and then you have places for your desktop. Uh, under your account, your account name, my account name is obviously my name. And then I have my desktop, my documents, my downloads, my library, movies, etc., uh, etc. Et and then within places you also have your application so this is where all your applications that you have downloaded or you have installed on your Mac are going to be and then finally we have uh, documents so these are all presets uh, not much to it so um, with here there's multiple views so you can have the icon view you can have uh, like a list view like a more of advanced lift uh, list view so it gives you information about uh, the application and then you have cover flow so you can choose an application from cover flow so it's a nice uh, graphic user interface there so the finder is always going to be running and the way that you know that it's always going to be running is with this little icon right here it's going to be a light under the icon that means that it's always going to run, no matter what, the finder will always be running. So with that, uh, the DAC area is where you're going to have your applications or your most used applications. So uh, most of these are presets except for uh, a few of them, but um, you have your App Store, the Mac App Store, and if I open it, all of a sudden now you see that the menu bar changed to correspond with the application so now it's the app store so I can find about it, edit it, you go to the store, I could sign out um, and all the other stuff so let's say you have a uh, in Windows you would just hit the X button and it would exit out well on a Mac it's kinda like that but not really if I hit the X, it's going to close it out, but for some applications. So uh, let's go to Safari and let's exit out. All right, so I hit the X on Safari. Well, you would think that it's it's shut off or it's, it's closed out, the application is closed out, but in actuality, if you see the light there, it's actually still running. So there's two ways that you can do this. You can either come up to Safari and you could come down and quit Safari or you can use the shortcut command Q and that will close it either way. So here's quitting and now you don't see the light anymore. Or if you hit uh if you hit command Q it will quit too. So there's always two ways of closing an application. So uh, back to the dock, we have dashboard, which is uh, like little widgets, and uh, they're they're pretty cool. Uh, 
they're not the much, so I'm not in Cupertino, California, but alright, so if I put in my current uh, forecast, uh, it will give me the current forecast, and I have, uh, you know, calculator, clock, calendar. So if you want to add more widgets, you would hit this little button right here, this little plus, and now you have a bunch of other widgets that you want to yeah, iTunes, Google, Flight Tracker, and a bunch of other ones. So let's say that I want ESPN. So you just click it, drag it, and now you have ESPN. If you want to get rid of it, you just hit the X and it will go away. So there's a brief overview of Dashboard. <laughs> And to exit out of the dashboard, you can just hit the desktop and it will go away. So, the next two are pretty standard your mail client and your web browser, just two standard things. Uh, next, we have FaceTime, which is video chat. So, if I click on FaceTime, uh, FaceTime will come up and now you see me, but I would have to sign in and then you have a list on the side of the people. Uh, that you can face that you can FaceTime with so it's Apple's um, uh, chat client so that's say we're gonna hit command Q and then uh, the next thing is we have address book pre standard the calendar uh, preview iTunes all pretty standard stuff uh, then we have photo booth which is actually pretty cool it's a uh, just a photo application so there's different icons or different effects. So you have one picture, and if you go over to here, uh, you have uh, your camera roll. So if you want to delete pictures and stuff like that, you can just hit the X. Or and now you see a preview of all your effects. And there's also I've also added some effects too. More down here. These are all uh, effects that I that I downloaded, but they come with standard uh, standard effects uh, from here and beyond. So uh, if we pick like thermal, we can e we can take one picture and uh, so then we got that, or we could do four. And it's gonna take four pictures simultaneously, so we could do. So there's four pictures right there, or we could do a video, and it would record a video. So it's a pretty cool application. I like it. It's something that you could do with your friends or by yourself, whatever floats your boat. So to exit, we're going to hit Command Q. And then next we have our photo booth, iPhoto, which is uh, their photo application where you can put all your, all your pictures and stuff like that. So... It's just a brief overview. Here's uh, some events, faces, places, uh, last imported. So it's just really just an easy way to organize all of your photos. And then we have iMovie, which is the movie application. GarageBand, which is a music application. Time Machine, which is a backup uh for backup, so if you have your hard drive plugged in and you have Time Machine running, if you deleted something that you weren't supposed to delete, you can actually hit Time Machine, go back in time to that document or music, wherever you delete it, and then bring it back. So your files are never really deleted, and uh, you go, you can bring them back unless you um, do something and you really screw it up. But um, Next, we have uh, the system preferences, just kind of like the control panel and um, Windows. Is everything is in there uh, of what you need, anything to adjust or um, to set or add accounts or anything like that. It's all going to be in your system preferences. Uh, and then the rest is I have, I have Microsoft Office on here and then um, Final Cut Pro. Uh, touch grind which I downloaded from the App Store. Uh, 
my antivirus, and then uh, my QuickTime. So the on that's one side. So on the other side, we have applications and documents. So if we click up applications, it's going to show us everything in our applications folder of what we have. So I mean, and then you can actually put any type of folder in there. So if you want to put uh, your pictures your picture folder so there you go so it's gonna show you all your pictures so let's say you didn't want something that in there let's just say you didn't want your pictures in there you know you just take this oops I'm gonna take this and now you see it and now it's gone you only deleted the icon you didn't delete your pictures because it was just a copy so all your pictures are still there so and then, of course, you have your downloads folder, which is just automatically, and then your trash. So, that's kind of like a brief overview of it. And then up here, you would have a uh, time machine, your Bluetooth, um, your wireless. Uh, since I'm on a MacBook, I have the charging port, time date, and then the final thing is actually Spotlight. And what Spotlight does is it's a universal search. It would search anything on your Mac. So if I search up, uh, let's do documents, for example. So my top hit is documents. And then if you want definition, your preferences, and then here's all the documents, not all of them, but a preview of some of your documents and then your folders that has the word documents in it. And then your PDF documents and then your, if you have presentations. So it's a universal search of what you're actually for, for the, so the more specific, specific that you get, the easier it is to find what you're looking for. But since I did something very general, it's going to show me multiple things. So let's say I didn't find what I want on here. You can hit show all. It's going to show you everything with the word document or something that's document related. So that's Spotlight. It's pretty simple, straightforward. There's nothing really too difficult about it so that's a really brief but quick overview of how to actually use a Mac um, if anything if you have problems with anything go back at any point in the video and uh, just rewatch it rewatch it again and again and again and you'll be able to understand how to use it it's very simple using a Mac is very simple there's not much that you need to learn in order to just pick up and start using it. The only things that I would see is just maybe the shortcuts. If in Windows, when you try to copy some, it's not Control C, it's Command C. So it's different shortcuts like that that may trip you up a little bit when using Mac. But everything else is pretty standard. So I hope you guys like this video. Thumbs up if it's really helped you. If you're switching over to a Mac. Uh, great, let me know in the comments, and the next uh, video will be on Friday the 13th, and uh, that video is actually going to be about some of the shortcuts that you can do, uh, keyboard shortcuts and other shortcuts that you can do to uh, improve your Mac experience, and then of course I'll uh, maybe teach you how to change your background picture or... Um, and then just give you another brief overview about some of the other uh, things that, uh, that will be in the next video. But until then, I hope you enjoy this video and have a nice day.